Usually an average empire lasts about 250 years, not much more than that. And that's due to the persecution of the people in different countries or different societies and then they become independent because they don't like to be controlled by rules which don't suit their culture. This is why, for example, I don't understand why we try and get involved in wars in countries where their ideology is not matching ours. It just doesn't make sense to me. But again, this is from a spiritual concept. Um, economic motivations, very much a thing why people want to do separatists because they want to keep money for themselves. Preservation of fresh religions, language and other cultural traditions. So this is where people will not allow people to learn different things. So, exact, so in some respects, when people are learning different cultures or learning different spiritual practices, many people are very reluctant to share it. So actually when I lived in India, um, when I was wanting to learn some of the Nadi astrology, they were not very keen on teaching me. It was only that when I'd done my reading and they found out that my great grandmother was from India, they were actually, okay, there is lineage there and they understood that. And it's actually when they found that lineage, they kind of were willing to talk about me learning that skill. It's quite interesting how people do that because the idea is most information was taught was actually from word of mouth. And obviously what people do is when you're learning lineage and learning traditions, a lot of it is not always written. Some of it is spoken and it's, it's directed from lineage to lineage. But however, we have to preserve people's cultural traditions because that is their actual ethos of who they are is their identity. I think it's a very important thing. Um, separatists, again, uh, destabilisation from one separatist movement giving rise to others. 